Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to cover how does Copilot uh, work. So let's go ahead and show you. There's just one slide that kind of covers the uh, Copilot and how is it grounded in your data. So let's assume that you are a user of one of Microsoft apps, like Microsoft PowerPoint as an example, or Microsoft Word. Here you got a user, you know, like me or you, for example, here you got all the apps on your devices. Let's stick with Microsoft Word. So what the user is going to do, you're going to open Microsoft Word. You're going to have Copilot there integrated inside the Word document. What you do first, which is going to be number one here, user is going to input a prompt in Copilot. You're going to say, I want to create, let's say, write an action plan or maybe write a report summarizing, let's say, the weekly progress for my team something like that. What's going to happen is Microsoft Copilot 365 sits here right now. And the Copilot is going to perform pre processing to that prompt using grounding, enhancing relevance of the prompt. So the idea here is Microsoft 365 because it now it has access to all the SharePoint sites has access to all your emails has access to the OneDrive files. So now what is going to happen is when you send the prompt, because right now the Microsoft Copilot has access to all your data. So here we got what we call it Microsoft Graph. So here we have access to pretty much all the user accessible data, of course, in a secure environment. Again, it's Microsoft. They don't mess around with security. But that's the idea here is that when you send the prompt, now the copilot is going to ground that prompt in your own specific data sets. And what's going to happen next is Microsoft Copilot is actually going to talk to a large language model like GPT-4 model, for example. And here, this is going to be step number three. Grounded prompt is sent to the LLM or large language model. Think of it again. This is a digital brain that we covered so many times before which generates a contextually relevant response. So that response is going to be contextual because it understands your content. It has access to your emails, your OneDrive information, and so on. And then finally, Copilot is going to reply back and will deliver the response back to the user. This is, I would say, the main idea. And of course, this is groundbreaking because, we, again, as I mentioned before, with ChatGPT, you can just talk to it, but it doesn't understand a lot of context. You have to explain it. Maybe you have to upload files and so on. But here with Microsoft Copilot 365, it's grounded in your work. And this is the idea here is that within Microsoft Graph, it has access to all the user accessible data, like chat data, videos, files, mailboxes, and so on. So you get much better and refined responses. And that's it. That's all I have for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next lecture, let's go ahead and start with a live demo for Copilot. Please stay tuned. Best of luck. And I will see you in the next one.